Lennies, welcome back. Today's video is an updated rabbit diet video, which many of you have been requesting. I'll also include a little bit of Lennon's meal plan and routine in here at the end. There's so many myths about what rabbits should actually eat, so keep watching if you wanna learn what's right. All right, so before we get into the diet, this video is sponsored by Wopet. This automatic pet feeder can feed your bunny up to four times per day with adjustable portions according to your bunny's needs. The feeding schedule can also be customized and even has voice recording. The dish and dispenser are both machine washable and operates with either its adapter or batteries, which is great if you don't want your bunny chewing a cord. Now, I only recommend this for dry foods such as pellets as perishables need to be refrigerated. So please check out Wopet. I'm going to link them down below along with a coupon code for your purchase. Okay, so let's take a look at the bunny food pyramid. The biggest portion of a rabbit's diet is grass hay, followed by leafy greens, then pellets, and finally treats at the very top. It's vital to provide your bunnies with unlimited hay in their litter box because of its high fiber content. Bunnies have sensitive tummies that constantly need to be mobilized and hay aids their entire digestive system. Skip out on hay and you'll end up with a sick bunny. If you wanna know what are the best types of hay to get, I'll link our video on hay below. Next, we have veggies. This can be boiled down to leafy greens such as romaine, red and green lettuce or bok choy leaves. Herbs like parsley, cilantro, basil, mint, and dill are also wonderful to add to the mixture. I will link a list of appropriate greens below. Potentially gassy greens are kale, spinach, broccoli, but honestly, I feed these to Lennon sometimes without any problems, so just check and make sure your rabbit can digest these properly before ruling them out. Then we have Timothy hay pellets. Pellets should be given in very small quantities and the recommended amount is a quarter cup per five pound rabbit. Think of them like a side dish. Always make sure the pellets you feed your bunnies have a minimum of 18% fiber. I personally use Small Pet Select's Timothy pellets with 25% fiber. If you do choose to go on a pellet-free diet, just make sure you're making up for the lost calories with more leafy greens. Treats are fun and easy. You can simply go with a small piece of fruit once or twice a day. You can also get creative and DIY some of your own treats. Just remember sugar should be limited and it's the smallest part of a rabbit diet. Too much sugar and you'll also wind up with a sick bunny. As for a baby rabbit diet, babies under six weeks should be on their mother's milk. After that, till about five months of age, babies should be consuming high volumes of calcium through alfalfa pellets and unlimited alfalfa hay. At around three months of age, you can slowly start introducing them to some veggies. What to not feed your bunnies? Anything starchy like bread, cereal, or crackers. Cabbage and iceberg lettuce have lots of water and little nutritional value, so I always say scratch those completely. You also want to avoid the junk food treats that you'll see at the store, such as things that are overly processed or gummies and yogurt drops. And as for Lennon's meal routine, I feed her three times a day in what I like to call breakfast, lunch, and dinner fashion. You don't have to do this, but it's just the way things have naturally fallen into place for us with my schedule. I personally love a good organic boxed spring mix as it saves me the time of washing, chopping, and meal prepping. And then over the spring mix, I will sprinkle a quarter cup of Timothy pellets only in the mornings. I also give Lennon unlimited bottled water just because I'm not a huge fan of LA tap water. And I also give her a treat twice a day, usually in the morning and at night. Finally, last but not least, she gets her unlimited hay all day long. All right guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, question of the day. How many times a day do you feed your bunnies? Answer in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you all soon.